Hello! So, welcome to this little video. I thought I would do a video on EVE because, well, I've been playing EVE since 2005 and the new Abyssal thing came out and there's only a couple of sort of references on uh, fittings. Now, at the moment, I am pretty much running uh, level 1 to 4 Abyssal space. Um, and I'm running them all in the gala. I've got this gala set out. It is overkill for 1 to 3. It runs 4 safely. Um, I've only ever had a couple of problems. I did lose 1 um, if you look on the kill board, but I lost that because something happened in the house and I had to leave the computer. And I got nailed Yeah, at the wrong point. One of those things that happens. Um, and then I lost 1 in Jita as I actually came out because I, I got my timer wrong came out too early when I knew somebody was waiting for me and yeah, pop goes away job. So what I've got here is two anvils, uh, two shield extenders and then two of these Heva Seto ballistic controls so they give bonus to damage and missiles which puts me a little bit ahead in DPS for what I normally should be. Um, and then here's just a PDS to extend the shield and give us a little bit faster recharge. Um, I'm using an Abyssal Micro Warp, but I believe it's a, a cheaper one. doesn't have any any real good bonuses aside from cap usage comes down a bit. Um, and then we've got the Rapid Lights. Using Scourge because this has bonus to Scourge, but I do have some Nova here um, because that's the weakness of the Chaotic that I'm heading into. And then, unusually for me, I've got a Tractor Beam here. The reason I use the Tractor Beam is sometimes i want to pop something and move fast um, grab it and get going so that's why i keep the tractor beam on i've got a free high slot for it so i usually put it in sometimes i use it sometimes i don't but yeah this is what's going on um the other piece of advice i would say is find yourself a quiet system this is a fairly quiet system shala that i have found uh feel free to use it if you want i would say it's fairly dangerous if people watch this video but nobody really watches my videos anyways um, however, this isn't the one that I usually use. I've just found this for the uh, for this example. I don't want com people coming and jumping on top of me. But yeah, so we have um, one damage dose in here, and then our missiles, our cap boosters. I use cap boosters because I've hit the Newton guys a few times, and it gives you that little bit extra to get through and keep your hardeners on when you're trying to tank through, especially if you get some of the bigger hits. Now, full disclosure, I have not ran a Chaotic Gamma before. If I explode, I'm still going to upload this, as you will probably see if you're watching this. But we'll see what happens. I have no idea. I've never run one of these before, and yeah, uh, I'm breaking it. So, down a rabbit hole. And all the pretty effects. Unknown interference, there we go, we've got minus 50, uh, minus 70 explosiveness. We have one short range deviant, so I'm going to head towards that fairly quickly. Turn on my hardeners. Oh, and that's not actually any good for us because these guys are all lucid. Um, which means that the Deviant will kill them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change tactics and head up to this cloud because these clouds are usually signature range expanding. And at the same time, I'm going to kick out some drones. That was interesting. I'm not sure if I'm being hit with missiles or if these guys are actually being hit by something. again and now being webbed. Drones are still fighting this when the targets on the road. Did not notice I had these two big boys in I'll pick off some of the smaller ones first. Alright, targets. Drones 
start to take damage. Blast ahead. That's it. What are these two? That's the other guy that's actually, actually there with me. One down. I'm gonna lock this up. And missile range, so I'm turning the missiles off and swapping them over to this. That was five and a half, uh, four and a half minutes to get that one section done. That was actually easier than most of the fours that I've done. Uh, it's the luck of the draw in a vessel space. Uh, I'm a little bit low on cap. This setup should be cap stable. I don't know why I'm so low. Right. Do we have the deviant? We do. Boot it for the deviant. Turn on the hard nose again. attack your missiles which means that first volley I've just put out is not going to hit its target but if they're close enough you can give them a run for the money so they seem to be close enough now I'm kicking out some drones attacking this guy and then swapping targets quickly This guy, not knowing where the drones are going. I should have a lot better cap than this, I don't know why I don't. I'm tempted to turn the hardener off and recharge from it. But we shall see. Drones are taking damage, but it's level damage, so it's coming from the Deviant. Fortune. 
Atlas. With all due haste, we can turn over hardness now. No enemies left. That was insanely quick. This this is very worrying because this usually means that the next bit's gonna hurt. Well, as I say, bring the pain. Ah, stop slowing down. Reload my muscles. careful with um, selecting this gate. I've always noticed the second to last gate is usually the one that it takes a couple of tries to activate it. Alright, what have we got here? Oh, bed max. And any clouds? No clouds. Alright, time to boot it. This may or may not be painful. I hate how it targets the gate. But that's just my awful setup. So I'm going to punt out that. I'm going for the wee guys first. Oh, I've been muted already. Ah, it was a starving guy I went for. Striking, starving. Go for him. Split my DPS, and that's a horrible idea. But some people are stupid. And I don't know. That's starving. Yes, I know. I'm running out of cap. Stop beating me. Up. Still haven't taken aggro yet, which is always a good thing. Heading towards a container. Right, so I've got one starving left. And I need to up my everything. <laughs> I need to up my absolute everything. So I'm overloading my heaters. I haven't actually consumed my damage bill. How stupid is that? back in. A module has run out of charges. I'm actually going to drop this next. There we go, I've looted that at least. Now turn on sideways. Get some transversal. Deal with. 
Yeah, so that's the important thing about this, is you've got to keep an eye on your transversal, you've got to use what's ever in the room, um, which is great. This has been a very easy, a very easy run. Um, I've bought a lot more than this, doing bigger ones. But then comes the last challenge. If somebody has come into my system and scanned me down, and oh god, am I touching my noggin to make sure that it doesn't. I touch wood if you don't get that. And there we go. Got my drones back. Now one of the tricks I used to do, or I was doing with level fours for a while, is to actually have another tier three on here. Come out, warp to another safe spot, drop back into the tier 3 or immediately drop into it if somebody doesn't target you fast enough. There we go, I've got a suspect status. So now I need to hide and if some guy's waiting for me here, that's not going to be nice. Don't do it, don't do it. Nobody. Cool, structures. Stargate structures. There's nobody in system. It's always nice. So that means that I can actually head to the structure. Warp drive active. Look at that shiny little thing there. But yeah, so now I'm out. I just need to dock up. As you can see here, I can't tether to anything. I actually have to physically dock up, which I've already expired the timer for, so I'm ready to go. So that was a tier five or a not raging, the next one up. But anyway, it was a tier 5 abyssal uh, gamma abyssal drop through. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope this gives you a bit of help if you are looking at any things. And if you like this, leave a comment. And yeah, there's more randomness all the time. If you're one of my Kerbal viewers, I apologise, but my computer has been dead and I'm still bringing the backups up to process the last two videos. However, you will get that soon. So, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Docking request. Bye!